So in today's video, guys, I want to show you guys step by step how to make 20 grand per month on YouTube without making any videos. If you do the math, that's $666 per day. Now over here, I want to show you guys this channel and I'm going to refresh the screen so you guys can see it. And today's the 15 at the time I'm recording this video. Load up for the 12. So I'm still waiting for it to load up for the 14 and the 15. And you guys could see, I recently got this channel to making $680 per day. Now, I know what some of you guys are saying. For this must have taken years to actually grow a channel to make $600 a day. Now, to actually show you guys, all right, so we got $600 today, actually sold into the 11th. So we have $600 on the 11th. Now to show you guys something real quick, we started the channel early May, so you can see right here, early May of this year, $13. So we just started the channel. So if we do May, May, June, July, May, June, July, August. So it's been three months. So this channel is like three months old to get to 600. So just to give you a better perspective, because a lot of YouTubers spend years a month trying to record a video like I'm doing right now, do pranks and doing this and that to become, to make six or even seven figure or eight figure YouTube, when you can basically do that without making any content in a short period of time. Now, before we get into it, guys, I want you to keep in mind this is with one channel. Not only just with one channel, but this is content I'm not even making. And not only that, keep in mind this whole thing is automated. I have people who's making the content for me without me doing any work from A to Z to come up with a video idea to uploading on YouTube. Now, I wanted to emphasize on this because I really believe right now YouTube automation is probably the best business out there. Now, I'm not saying this because it's the only business that I've been doing within the past three years, but I have other friends that are on Shopify, that are on affiliate marketing and different online businesses that are making a lot of money and they're really surprised and shocked by all of this with the fact that I'm not even uploading the video myself, making the video myself, and I have a whole team that's doing everything for me. And keep in mind, every single dollar that you're actually seeing from my screen right here will actually get sent to my bank account. So it's not like they're taking a percentage of it. YouTube already take the percentage, they display what they're gonna send you. So I just wanna show you guys the major opportunity that is within this. And like I said, especially the niche that I'm about to reveal to you, there's little to no competition in that niche. There's only a few channels that I can come across. And most of those automation channels that I come across, I can count the amount of channels that I've seen with my hand. And I know the majority of the people that's gonna see this are not gonna take action. But the one person that's gonna watch this video and actually watch it till the end and actually apply everything that I teach. And I really may guarantee in my video, but I guarantee if you watch this whole video till the end and apply every single thing that I'm gonna teach you for six months, consistently for six months, you will see results with your channel. And to give you guys a number with it, I'm gonna go in the low end. You should be seeing at least $50 a day with your channel. If you continue with this consistently for six months, you should be seeing $50 per day with your channel. And if you do the math, $50 per day times 30, that's $1,500 a month. So if you guys wanna make an extra $1,500 a month in the next six months, then follow along. So you guys know, I always bring niches an idea that people are not making videos on yet because that's the fastest way to go on YouTube is to start a channel on a niche where there's not much competition, but the audience is very vast because that leaves space for a channel to go at a faster rate than the average channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the economy niche. Now, maybe some of you guys have come across the channel, maybe some of you guys haven't. And I'm gonna use this channel as an example to show you guys psychology and also how to grow your channel within this niche. And basically, if you don't know anything about economy, I don't know anything about economy myself, you're not an economy person, you don't have to worry because you're not gonna be doing the video, we're gonna find somebody else who knows, who knows about the economy more than we do, that follows the economy on a daily basis more than we do, to be able to create the content for us. Now, now basically, if we hover through the channel, you could see the thing about this niche is one of the most popular saying is that fear sell. And this channel is basically based on fear. That's why starting a channel specifically this route is very different from the average economy channel because it's just reporting on the fear that is happening around the economy. Like for example, you could see out of few. Now most people that live in, in the state, it might be something that is happening worldwide. You notice that gas prices are going up. You notice that the home prices are going up. So you notice that a lot of the channel, they're posting about the major bad news that are basically happening around the economy. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through the process basically when you're starting a channel. Now basically it's the same process when I'm starting any other channel and any other niche. This is the same process that I used to start a channel within this space also. Now, the first thing is, of course, we have the niche. Now, the second thing is, before you even create a channel and try to build a team to make the content for you, I personally, myself, like to come up with the first couple of video ideas. Because the only reason why I start a channel, I'm able to grow within a month to even six months, is because majority of the time, I'm the one behind the video ideas. And I pick specific video ideas to be able to guarantee my channel traction. And of course, within the space, you guys are gonna be surprised. You would think the economy space is very saturated, which it is, there's a lot of personal channels, there's a lot of news posting about it, so it has some saturation. But that's where we're gonna sub niche into a specific topic to be able to grow the channel, which is the first thing, which is the first thing we're gonna be talking about, which is basically when getting into a niche, I always do the keyword research. And luckily for you, I've already did it. And I'll just link the link to this Google Doc in the description. You guys can have access to it. Now, as you guys can see, the last time I updated this uh, was like in May. So there's probably a new keyword I haven't come across, but my team is doing the content, so I haven't really been in the process to be able to update this. But you will see keyword like interest rate on the average 40,000 people searching for it, low competition. 
food shortage, over 100,000 people searching for a local competition, empty shelf, over 100,000 very low competition, inflation, um, over half a million people searching for a local competition. And if we even scroll down to even more, because it's a bunch of keyword that is on here. We have global food crisis news. This one's actually a little bit low, lower, but let me scroll down to more of the major. And also I have a financial market section. Recession is a very popular keyword that is being searched right now because a lot of people are saying we're in a recession. A lot of people are searching for that. Uh, again, we have inflation. We have interest rate, the Federal Reserve, housing market, which is a very popular one at the moment, with over 300 people searching for it on a monthly basis. And they have a low competition. Even long phrase keyword, like when would the market crash? When would the housing market crash? Housing crash, mortgage rate, housing bubble 2022, real estate market, inflation. And of course, we have a famous one right here, gas prices. There's over 300 people searching for gas prices on YouTube on a monthly basis. Oil prices, U.S. economy. And I'm pretty sure we have China economy also, which is a very popular one uh, that is being searched for. So the reason I round up this Google Doc is because I'm going to make my videos around this specific keyword. And majority of my titles, my tag and my description are going to have the specific keyword. Now, even if we go to the Epic Economist, now this channel has grown. Usually when a channel is established, you don't even have to worry about keyword because YouTube already has some data on who your audience are and who to promote the video onto. So you don't really have to rely on keyword. But what you will notice is, for example, they have uh, actually shipping uh, the shipping industry is actually a very keyword. There's a good keyword around there. But you notice housing market video right here. Food shortage. I can already tell what the video is about because I've seen some of them. I'm familiar with the space. But a lot of them are around either food shortage, the housing market, and even a little bit in the financial market. And there's a little bit of stuff about the Federal Reserve and stuff like that. And like I said, I'm not a big guy in the economy. If someone should have asked me from the spot to find the Federal Reserve, I'll honestly freeze at the moment and will not be able to define it for you. I kind of know what they do, but... I won't be able to define it for you without pulling out my phone and looking up on Google. So this will show you how empty minded that I am when it comes to this specific niche. Now, a shortcut that I usually do after I come up with the keyword research, which I've already have for you guys, you guys have the niche, you guys have the keyword research, which I've already created for you guys. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to find video idea. Now, I like to lay out the video idea for the first two months. Now, I personally like to do the video idea for myself for the first two months because that's usually like the range that I give for a channel to grow. And if it took longer than two months, then I'll usually do the video idea all the way until the channel blew up because I don't want nobody else to do it because I'm very strategic about it. And you guys already have the first step, which is basically coming up with keyword, making videos around this keyword. Now, now once we're going to get a team to do the content for us, they already have the video idea because I've already come up with them. And basically how I do that is I'll go to the channel. And usually one thing I used to say back in the day was, you know, look at some of the most popular videos that are recent. For example, if we hover through this and we see, all right, we see 80,000, 60,000, average view. Now we see this video right here that have 176,000. So this, this stand out from all the other videos that have lower than 100,000, but this video for some reason have 100,000. And remember what I told you guys. So if I click on this video in this video, the title is ranch are selling off their cattle and unprecedented dented, however that is pronounced number as global starvation plan acceleration. Now, what does the title have in common with our keyword? If we go into our keyword, it's basically about food shortage, and we already have that on our keyword on the description. Right here, food shortage of 100,000 people. Now, he didn't even put the keyword in his title, which is fine because his channel is already established. He doesn't really care about um, putting the keyword. And even if we look at the tags, we could see that it have, it's very terrible keyword for a small channel if you're going to be doing keyword like he's doing right now. With like 1,000 people with that low search volume on a monthly basis, you're not really going to get any traction on your channel. So you have to be very tactic about how you do the content. So what I would do, I would get the link to this video and I usually create a separate Google Doc, which I call it video idea. Now I'll link this video as video idea number one. And keep in mind, I'll do this for like a whole month and I try to upload on a daily basis within the first two months so I can get traction really fast and grow the channel really fast. Of course, you guys already know the more consistent that you're on YouTube, the more video that you upload, the higher of a chance that you have actually getting a viral video. So this will be video number one. And of course, once, once I get my script writer to create their script, once I get my script writer to create their version of the same topic is when I'm retitling it, obviously I'm not going to put the same title, but I'm going to be putting like food shortage in the, in the title. Like I'm going to be putting like food shortage in the title, in my description, in my tag. And I can also squeeze in some other keyword in my Google Doc because those keyword is what we're going to rely on because as a small channel, what you rely on is the search because as a small channel, because to be quite honest, YouTube don't really promote small channel on a large scale. That's why 
it's hard to get from zero to a thousand subscribers. It's a little bit easier to get to a thousand to ten thousand. And it's a lot easier to get to ten thousand to a hundred thousand because because what happened is because what happened is YouTube is a snowball effect. Once you have some subscribers, if you have good quality content, you're improving your content. YouTube will continue to promote your video because because they already have data on your channel. They know who to promote the channel to. So usually your channel start getting some traction and the momentum keep going up. Now for a small channel, YouTube don't really have that much data about your channel. They only go off by the tags, your description, and your title to have a better understanding of what your video is about and who to promote the video onto because you don't have a subscriber base. And the AI is really smart with YouTube because they can identify the 400,000 people that subscribe to this channel and they can recommend to similar people that have, that have watched similar video compared to those people. So when you're starting a channel, you have zero subscribers, they can't do that type of stuff for you. They're going to go by your title, your tagging in the description to know where to promote your video. So real quick guys, quick interruption. As you guys know, in most of my video, I always give a giveaway to one of my subscribers. So on today's video, I want to announce the winner to the giveaway. So we have a winner for today's video. Her name is Paula. She's probably the first female actually I've actually picked as a, as a winner so far. So congratulations. All right, so basically what that was for those of you guys that are new to the channel, every single video I pick a winner that have subscribed to my channel, that have liked the video, that have comment, and that send me a screenshot on Instagram that they comment, they like, they subscribe, and also they follow me on Instagram. If they send me that screenshot on my Instagram, which will be above, what I usually do, I usually pick one person and they win an hour call with me. Now on that hour call with me, I help people with anything related to YouTube automation, whether you're just getting started, whether you need a blueprint, or whether you have a channel, you're trying to scale it, maybe you're making $1,000 a month, you wanna get, Maybe you're making $1,000 a month and you want to go to $10,000. Maybe you're making $10,000 and you want to scale that. Then on that call, I discuss every single strategy that you actually might be lacking. So on that call, I share every single strategy that you might be lacking concerning YouTube automation. So if you want to enter, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you already subscribed, then like, comment, and screenshot that. And actually follow me on Instagram and message me on Instagram. And you might be the next winner to the next video. So without further ado, guys, let's get back to the video. So now once we go to the channel, we kind of stack up the video idea based on the keyword and also based on the videos that are on this channel. And of course, I highly recommend because the thing about it is there's not that much channel within the space that are specifically doing what this channel is doing. Now, there's some other faces economy channel, but they're kind of like broad economy channel posting about like how did the U.S. started or how did the economy of China was built and stuff like that. But they're not really covering live action news, not action news, but live news that are happening in the economy that are terrible, like this channel is doing. But other news sources that are doing that are the popular news sources, and it is possible you can actually link those videos. For example, I know there's a lot of fake news out there. For example, I know there's a lot of fake news out there. If you even type food shortage on YouTube, for example, if I type food shortages, and what you see, you, you see other channels that are posting the same thing. Now, this is a personal channel. Now, this dude posted a video four weeks ago, have over 600,000 views. You're talking about the food shortage in like September. Right now we're in October. Actually, we're about to go into September. So I would actually save the link to this video because even personal channel where people are speaking to you, where it's not an automation channel, you can actually use their content as video ideas. Because the only difference between an automation channel and a personal channel is that you have a voiceover speaking instead of a person speaking to you on the camera. So I would also save this video and I'll go, go through them and you'll find multiple channels. Some of them are very new channels that are coming out that are posting content about food shortage, but you can actually use their information that they're sharing in the video to actually make your videos. Once I stack up the video ideas, we have the niche, we've done the keyword research, and we have the video ideas. Now we just have to make the videos to upload to our channel. Now, of course, we go to the process of hiring the team. Now, of course, we need number one, a script writer. We need a voiceover, we need an editor, and we need a thumbnail designer. Now, I put the price because I did some video in the past and people always ask me how much you pay such and such, how much you pay such and such. Now, this thing really varies because you might find a script writer that is able to do it for 15 bucks. And you might be able to find someone who's able to do it for 10, but, but I put 15, which is the average that you should be paying for script, especially in this niche, you can really find some good people, whether in the Philippines, whether in Pakistan, whether in India, or whether in Bangladesh, to be able to do a script for you for like 15 bucks. And you can also get a voiceover to actually do this. Now, of course, most of you guys, the channel is going to be in English. So obviously you need an English voiceover. You really don't want to get a ghetto voiceover that have like a, that have a crazy accent that someone who speaks English can barely understand. So most likely you want to get someone that is within the state, Canada. But here's a trick. I've actually found some good voiceover, especially some of them are, I don't know how to call it, but they know how to mimic people's voices. A couple of weeks ago, I met this guy that's in Pakistan on Upwork. And literally when I was speaking to him, he sounded American. Like his voice sounded very American. And like I said, if you're going to pay someone in America, a lot of times there's people that, that will charge 15 bucks. You can pay 15 bucks. I would do it like a five to 10 minute videos. But most of the time, voiceover here in the state on Upwork and Fiverr, they're not gonna be doing it for 15 bucks. They're gonna be like $50 plus or even $100 plus. So obviously we don't wanna spend that kind of money because we're starting with a channel that's not earning us money yet. 
So we want to find a voiceover on a lower budget. And usually I try to find those people that are outside of state that speak English very well, where you can barely notice their accent or they don't have any accent in general. I've been on call with people that are in the Philippines, that are Filipinos, never been to the state, but they speak English perfectly. I'm talking about, it's like I'm speaking to an American. And of course, I wasn't born in America, so I still have an accent. Some of you guys can hear this accent. And they speak English better than I do. So you're able to find people in this country that actually speak English very well. Now, like I said, there's some people, you find some people on Upgrade Fiber that are in the state that actually might be able to do it for 15 bucks. There's a few of them out there, but it's kind of rare. But you you find a few of them because I have found some few of them. And the editing style will be basically the same thing as Epic Economist. Now, there's some few stock footage in the mix of it. And sometime when he's talking about specific news, say, for example, he will talk about interest rate drop by 5%. Now, I'm just making this up, by the way. And, of course, when you mention those claims on your video, usually the editor, he have to go on Google and find a blog or a picture that actually show interest rate drop by 5% or even a graph to actually put in the video. Because obviously those type of video, people will check you, a lot of people will check you real quick if you're just making videos because those videos are about economy and stuff like that. So people will want to see proof like, hey, what is this channel talking about? Is this really true? And you notice if you watch Epi Economist channel, a lot of his video he'll display in the editing title to major news sources speaking about a specific topic to kind of back up his claim. And usually with the thumbnail designer, I pay five bucks. In general, if you do the math, you do 15 plus 15 is 30 plus 20, that's 50. And of course, thumbnail designer usually I honestly never pay five more than five bucks for a thumbnail. It should be five bucks, which make it a total of $55 per video. And some of you guys can do the research on Upwork and Fiverr and find people that can do it at a lower price. And I wouldn't be surprised. I've worked with people with students that have fine people that does the content at a good quality. Sometimes even higher than my quality for half the price. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're able to cut down some of those prices and find some people that are able to do it for a cheaper price for you guys. And again, assuming that most of you guys are familiar with Upwork and Fiverr, I'm not really going to show how to post a job on Upwork and Fiverr. I've done multiple videos on how to do that. And even in the playlist section of this channel and the course, I believe it's part four, I actually show how to post a job on Upwork and Fiverr for you to recruit people to actually make the videos for you guys. And basically, guys, that is the whole process from the niche, keyword, how to come up with the video idea, and hire the team to make the content for you. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Now, I try my best to explain the whole process from A to Z. And I know some of you might have questions. Now, it's very hard for me to put the whole thing in a one YouTube video. So if you have any questions, you can comment it. And I'll be able to get back with you. And if you're new to this channel, you're new to YouTube automation in general, you're just getting started, you don't understand the fundamental. Now, I have a course on my YouTube channel. It's on the playlist section of this channel. This is my course I actually used to charge two grand for. So it's really valuable. This is my blueprint that I went from zero to 10 grand with. So that's the reason that I was charging two grand for it. So it's not really something to be taken lightly. So for anybody that's gonna ask me if I have a course, I do. It's on the playlist section of the channel. It's completely for free. And if you guys, and of course, I have a Facebook group. The link of that will be below. I have, and of course, I have a Facebook group. And of course, I have a Facebook group where we talk about anything related to YouTube automation. The link for that will be below for those guys that want to join. And of course, in that Facebook group, if you have any question, you can tag me. You can make a post in person and tag me, and I'll be able to answer your question on there. And to be quite honest with you guys, I do have a coaching program for the people that want to do this at a faster rate, that want to build that channel within five days. I offer a coaching program where I actually build this stuff with you in five days. Personally, with me in five days, we actually built the whole thing for you. I give you a niche. I help you build the team. I give you a monetized channel to get started with. And we actually launched a channel within five days of working with me. So for those of you guys that have an investment, you have very little to no time to be able to invest into actually building a channel or watching a course or building it yourself. And you can actually have me build it with you within five days. And if you want to learn more information about that, there'll be a link below where you can actually book a call with me. And if we see that it's a great fit to work with one another, we'll work with one another. So without further ado, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Yo.